Hello everyone and welcome to day 13 of Vlogus and Mediterranean Lifestyle Month. I'm in the line at Starbucks going through to get my venti decaf non fat latte. <laughs> they know me now. They hear venti decaf non fat latte and they know who it is. And uh, I promised you a vegetarian meal today and I have something that I think is kind of fun and probably something that is a little different than what you would normally make. It involves beets and beans and if you've never had beets they're so good. I mean they're kind of messy when you make them because they're really red and they they kind of like you know you could use them to dye your clothes if you wanted to. Um, but they're really delicious and they're actually kind of like a treat so um, I hope you enjoy it and we'll see what else we make today. For lunch I'm having a tomato mozzarella panini that I got at the Starbucks which I wouldn't recommend as the healthiest food on the planet, but I'm getting a really late start to the day. It's about 2.30 now, and uh, I went and got my mammogram today, and, you know, that's always fun, but we must do these things, so I encourage you, if you haven't had one, to go get one, and uh, so now I'm having, like, a little bit of a late start, so I'm just grabbing some food, which is a dangerous thing to do when you're running out of time and you're just like, oh, I'll just get something through the drive through But I tried to make the healthiest choice I could. So I have just tomato and mozzarella. Today for lunch we're making beet chili. So the first thing we're gonna do is warm up our spices. We have half a teaspoon of Calabrian chili paste, a half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and a tablespoon of dried oregano. So we're gonna warm them up and then we're gonna add our vegetables. In this bowl, we have three red beets chopped up and peeled. We have two small onions, or you could use one medium onion. We have a green pepper from the garden and half of an orange bell pepper from the farm. We're adding enough olive oil to get things going. We're going to cook these until they soften up. And then we're going to add some garlic. So you don't want to add the garlic right away because garlic will burn right away because it's so tiny. Mm, okay. it's already. Adding a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes and a can of kidney beans that we've drained and rinsed and a cup of water. It's very red. Now we're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to simmer it for about 30 minutes. Pizza with pre-bought pizza shells. These are the shells I get at the supermarket. They're very thin. In this one we have an Italian cheese blend with some pepperoni and oregano. This one has fresh mozzarella, a little Romano cheese, and some fresh basil. And this one has Romano cheese, fresh mozzarella, and just some oregano. The sauce is leftover spaghetti sauce from the other night. Passaggiata, which is the after dinner stroll. I didn't bring my selfie stick, so my arm's not really long enough to hold this out at a proper angle. But it's a beautiful night. It was supposed to be really rainy here today, but it, uh, it ended up being a beautiful day. So taking advantage of it, and it's not super hot and humid, so it's really nice to walk after eating pizza for dinner. 
Wow, look at that sky. Majestic. Well, after pizza and beet chili for dinner, dessert is going to be a big, fat, juicy peach. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's food. It's always fun to try something new, isn't it? <laughs> I hope you join me tomorrow. Uh, we'll see you then. Bye.